what it do cosmic crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i got another video for you so as you can see this is about dolce dolce i don't know why i gotta say it like that dolce um this was by request um i've never done a reading on dolce I am definitely a fan. I think she's a superb artist, so talented, um, multi-talented, multi-faceted girl. Yes. Um, from Florida, so yes, bitch. Okay. Anyways, but <laughs> so I'm definitely resonating with the energy heavily. Okay, but um. Let's just see. We're going to use this deck and just see energetically who is Dolce. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, we have the scholar here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Automatically, I'm feeling, I don't know if there's somebody in jail who she might be connected to or even prison. This was like somebody who went to jail that kind of got reformed in the prison system. Um, and they like Muslim or something now. Especially somebody who wears like a kufi hat or some shit. And there's also, I don't know if she's talking to somebody who might be an athlete. Or something like that. That's what I'm picking up on. But also, I feel like um, she's definitely someone who has a well of knowledge, okay? She's a, an intellectual, a scholar, someone who loves to learn, who loves to um, gain different perspectives, definitely unbiased, okay? Very um, just wise, philosophical, very, there's a lot of depth to her. Okay, I feel like she also has a lot of masculine energy in that, just a go-getter, very ambitious, um, can speak up for herself. I feel like she's like an all-star, okay? And like I said before, very talented. I feel like there are so many things that she can do, she's very good at. See, that's the thing, especially with um, fire signs, Leos, a lot of people try to make them choose what to do, make them choose what to focus their energy on, and that's like impossible, um, especially when you're so good at so many things, it's like, why can't I be the full compass of who I really am, okay, and who I'm still learning that I am, um, also, she may be into sports. Definitely, I feel like she, her, her only competition is herself. Okay, she's not competing with anybody else but herself. With who she was yesterday. Okay. Who is Dolce? We got the mirror. Okay. So definitely spiritually guided. It's so crazy. I've been sitting here <laughs> for a minute just chilling. Ain't no cars pass by. Not a car pass by playing music. So as we know, she definitely is um, musically inclined. Very gifted. Spiritually gifted. I feel like she's spiritually guided. Most Leos um, are from the Lyran species okay like like i was saying with obama like leos are not from this planet okay if you know anything about the extraterrestrial species of the the lyrans l y r a n that fem, feminine um feline energy is where leos stem from okay so i feel like she essentially is a spirit guide as well as being divinely guided herself i feel like um she loves herself there's a very high self-esteem here 
There's also something about doing mirror magic or just affirmations in the mirror. She may be a bit tough on herself. It's like very self-conscious, but with the high self-esteem. But it has to be um, channeled from within. A lot of self-validation, knowing her worth, encouraging herself, uplifting herself. I feel like that positive attitude is definitely a big part of her character. Okay. I feel like there's definitely this nurturing spirit nurturing mothering spirit i feel like i don't know if she maybe was the oldest or something like that but it's something about always being in a mother position always a caregiver position there's also something here about being a mother so that might be on her heart to have children parenthood here there's definitely just life goals that i'm sensing like kind of like a checklist But there's like this divinely spiritual, this essence here. Very, um, fairy-like. Just kind of floating around, just sprinkling her dust <laughs> on people's lives, giving them their, their hope, their joy, just being a, just being a light. Like, it's so, um, kind-hearted. Like, there's this really genuine spirit. That I'm sensing here. Just wanting to see everybody win, but also, you know, being her own. <sighs> being her own biggest critic. Very hard on herself. We got the rebel. Okay. So there are, um, Things that she stands for, things that she takes pride in, a, a rebellious spirit, kind of a badass, okay? Very um outspoken, a bit argumentative, okay? People might say that she's a uh is hard headed. <laughs> she may come across as selfish. Um, very one track minded has a lot of tunnel vision but it's like whatever whatever it is that she stands for like she's um, fully committed to this definitely feels like it could be things in the industry as well rebelling against the industry conforming to things yeah it's giving like a freedom fighter freedom writer okay i can see her writing articles and it's, it's like what can't she do that's what <laughs> what can't she do i can see her you know being a publicist i can see her being a critically acclaimed author i can see her um you know being a a a, a designer whether it be clothes um interior design just this has has an eye for fashion very quirky but like i said it also could come across very selfish very closed-minded very um mean-spirited if it's not receptive in the right way because it is so um aggressive in whatever her stance is You have the introvert. Okay. So, this is somebody, I feel like she definitely values her alone time. There's something about, um, okay. Because <laughs> in the picture, it's like a lot of different wigs sitting up on the dresser. And I'm hearing that alter ego song. So, I do feel like there is this embodiment of different energies just all encapsulated into one vessel. Okay. But on a surface level, very introverted, very quiet, kind of shy as well. Um, but like comes to life in front of the camera. Even if this is like, uh-huh, like 
by herself. Like I said, very introspective. Very, um... Minimal. It doesn't take much to please her. Very, um... At peace. When she's alone. Yeah, definitely someone who values their alone time. Their, their solitude. But can't put on that hat and you know be that that girl that fun party girl life of the um party but on a soul's level just really values quiet time peace of mind and um being alone <laughs> your leo's like that lion cave like bitch leave me the fuck alone let me regroup yeah we got the alpha like this is I'm yeah this is a very strong willed determined fierce even on this picture the girl got an alien on her shirt okay so I don't know if she's in touch in tune with the extraterrestrials okay there's definitely something about alien communication I just feeling really out of this world I'm hearing um xenon Um, supernova girl. That might be kind of cute, don't she? To kind of tap into that era. Supernova girl with Raven and shit. I feel like that's very, um, that might have sparked something in her when she was younger. I don't know. And I keep hearing, I'm um, blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Da ba dee da. So there, there may be a bit of, um, depression. Okay, just battling with that internally. But I feel like the the internal monologue that she has is definitely something that keeps her going. Her own self-esteem, self-worth, self-assurance, her own confidence. Relying on that is what keeps pushing her. Not letting the, the voices that speak to tear her down win. Because they're there as well. There's definitely this this depressive side that could easily wash over. But I feel like she, you know, she gets up, does what she has to do, and stays positive. It's this um, alpha energy. She's a leader. I feel like there is a school of thought, a train of thought that she is supposed to um, basically just like guide and lead, like. This feels like, as far as, you know, distribution, as far as um, independence, especially in the industry, um, there's a wall, she's a, a fourth wall she's supposed to break. Yeah, she's supposed to break the fourth wall between the consumer and the artist, okay? Bridging that gap being relatable and personal personable while also having your boundaries okay yeah she's she's a bad bitch like uncontrollable like my way out of highway i'm running this shit very um very feminine with a lot of strong masculine energy like it's balanced as fuck but it's just like the strength card, right? You have the you have the feminine energy with that that wild beast. And that's what Leo's represent, that balanced energy. We got the um the therapist. Okay, so she might be seeing someone. Um seeing some type of therapist, some type of counselor. Okay, there may even be some type of medication just to regulate the nervous system i also feel like she is someone who people go to for advice a lot of wisdom being departed here okay 
Like I said, it's really like how you take it. How you take her energy. It could it could be it could really um turn people out because it is so abrasive, it is so in your face, it is so this is me, bitch, accept it or don't. So it it can turn people out. But if you if you're someone who appreciates authenticity and originality and someone who um doesn't conform, then you would fuck with those. So it's very it's them Leos is very opposing energy. Either you you like it or you don't. It's the hate of the love it. The underdogs on top. I go stop on me up to my heart. Stop. Envy me. <laughs> go ahead and envy me. I'm rap MVP. Okay. And I ain't going nowhere so they can get to know me. That's what it's giving. Hate of the love it, bitch. Let's just see. Okay. What's going on around Dolce? What may be coming for Dolce? What is Dolce? energy energetically going on what do we need to know here okay so all right i do feel like there's like a council this may be um this may be like a, a managerial group or like some type of whatever goes on in those boardrooms okay i do feel like there is a halt being put on her elevation okay now these people may be requiring some type of sacrifice before she can move forward i do feel like um they, they may want her to undergo some type of humiliation ritual or something i, I definitely feel like for her to ascend that they're asking for a, a payment of <laughs> you know you know how they do I, <sighs> there may be some regrets about going or signing okay kind of feeling like it's a catch 22 I feel like she's very My bad. I feel like she's very um, conscious about how she deals with people, making sure everybody is paid fairly, everybody is treated fairly. There's a lot of reciprocity in her energy, an equal give and take, wanting everything to be fair and balanced and just, wanting everything. Like, there's, there's just a very righteous energy, just wanting to do the right thing. I feel like this woman has a lot of integrity, okay, holds herself to a certain standard and wants to be treated with that same respect. But, you know, fucking with this industry is kind of hard. Because they... they eh. So, there may be... um, What is this? Because I feel like there's a turn of events that's coming. And it's definitely all going to pay off. It's like sitting back. Taking a step back. And, like, looking at things a different way. Is going to be what propels her like i said it's that fourth wall so she may start speaking out about things what she's seen what she's experienced in the industry um and this is going to be another channel for for income for residual income what is this there's definitely something here about um spiritual advisory so there may be someone that she goes to or she does her own divination things of that nature what is this okay. I can see don't you have a twin twin babies okay but there's also something about um some type of initiation definitely a lot of success her career is gonna propel but it's like taking the long way not the easy route 
I feel like there are just things on a on a soul's level that she can't agree with or conform to. Like she'll play the game, but she's not she's not trying to win their game. Okay, there's definitely something here about controlling um, her intellectual property, her masters. There's somebody here who I feel like has a hold on that, who has a grasp on her talent. There may be um, things in place to how she can present her projects. Like it has to be under a certain guise, certain regulations. You know, they're like, oh, my label won't let me drop. My Like, I, it's that type of shit. Somebody has a hold on what she's passionate about, but it's not stopping her talent, her creativity. That's, that's you know, that comes from within. I feel like it's actually fueling her fire. It's like the fucked up part is the closer she she's gotten to stardom, the less she's wanting it. And it's because of the secret society. Especially with this car here, the way it looks, it's like the the oaths. The misogyny. I think it's kind of turned her off a bit. Definitely made her take a step back and regroup, but while still being contractually obligated to move a certain way and to handle things in a certain manner. Now, I do feel like there was some type of oath taken. Okay, there's definitely something here about <laughs> Oh yeah. And it's like I don't know what this is like trying to control her love life or like there somebody here may be giving her the blues okay in a relationship or she's giving somebody hell whichever way it goes but there's like a, a very strong connection here a very strong union okay but somebody is worried sick about it what is <laughs> okay so I'm here, Mike Jones. Okay, now I'm hot. They all on me. There's definitely this energy of um, trying to find someone who you can trust. There's a lot going on with the money. I don't know who this is, but they're giving the impression that they can she can trust them and that they have her they're gonna help her build this generational wealth somebody i don't know if they're sneaking something off the top off the back end okay and i also feel like she's trying to find ways to like loopholes to still succeed in this industry without playing by their rules But the end game is success, is love, it's abundance, it's happiness. Definitely generational wealth. Whatever method she's taking, the end game is prosperity. But it's like, I keep hearing that breaking the fourth wall. Like being very vulnerable, very transparent. And like showing the ins and outs of how this shit really goes. The 
yeah, there's like a whole it's like table meetings. I don't know if maybe she's trying to um, go into acting. I, I can see table reads or something, but it's like this whole group of executives discussing her and like trying to, okay, trying to shelve her. But why? Why do they want to shelve those? What's that about? I definitely feel like she's, she's not doing what, <laughs> what they require. I feel like she also may be trying to bring other people with her. Like, once again, just make sure everybody is treated fairly. I like she wants a fair cut. I like an equal enough split. It's like she's trying to avoid a 360 deal. Trying to find um, a way that it can work for the company because that's basically what these labels are they're just a company they're a corporation but also being paid fairly as the talent like being very adamant about that who is this man <laughs> There's a guy here. Might be a cancer. Or like there's just somebody here that she may be working with. And they have some type of hidden emotions, some secret feelings here. There's definitely something here. Like they, they may work together or you know, collaborate on something. But somebody got a crash. Let me find out you getting fluid out. This could be the one that's in jail, but it's also <laughs> it's also something about um, being in her head about it. When it comes to emotions and feelings, like kind of talking herself out of liking people, like. <laughs> like these feelings don't make sense so I'm not gonna fuck with them mm -mm. it's something about divine intervention here okay it's like every time she gets emotionally invested into a relationship it's like shit just comes to a halt or like something comes to Give her like a, a wake up call, snap her out of it. That's how she sees it. It's definitely giving very much one and done. Like, at the first sign of bullshit, mm mm. Yep, that's all I needed to see. Uh-oh, fuck it. See, I knew I, knew I should have never... Nope, nope, because look. Yep, I knew it. That's what it's giving. It's like waiting for shit to go wrong to justify not wanting to be in her feelings. Because feelings are uncontrollable, right? Like, not being able to control the feeling that she has for someone. So, waiting for a moment or something to happen to where she can justify not trusting this person. Or not um, being involved with them. It's, but, it's kind of like manifesting it. Like, manifesting shit to go wrong just to validate your own desire to sabotage it. Because you can't control the feelings that it's girl. Yeah. Anything else? There is this energy of like really investing time, efforts, going really hard, and like not getting her just due. Somebody here is trying to like control her will.
somebody feels like she needs to get karma for something. I don't know who she done rubbed the wrong way. Yeah, there's somebody here who's really spiteful, really vengeful. But it's all because it's like she wants to be. <laughs> Somebody's like, how dare you want to be treated fairly? How dare you want equal retribution? How dare you want to change things? How dare it's like. And so because of that, they're trying to put her in a position of lack. Make her seem like all her efforts are in vain. But it's not because it's being done systematically. Like it's all an illusion to make her feel like nothing she's doing is working. Because she, like, because she wants things to be balanced. Like, if that's really all it is. I feel like this woman works very hard. Eight of Pentacles, Temperance. Like, her energy is very chill, very peaceful, wanting just balance, harmony. Okay, and because of that, because she's not a shit eater, the fuck. <laughs> I don't say shit like that because she's not a shit eater. She has to be um stopped because she just won't take anything because she has um standards for herself. And there's somebody here who's trying to oh, okay they're trying to make it seem like she's hard to deal with she's hard to work with they're trying to blackball her okay they're blackballing dochi in the industry because she wants equality especially when it comes to retribution distribution she may be working on some type of um platform or just just some way to I'm here in station head there's just some way to like receive an equal give and take that's what it's giving So I don't know if because I keep feeling Kodak Black, I keep feeling Kendrick Lamar, and I, I, I believe that's who she's um, signed under. But it's like there's a lot of air signs here that are mad. I don't know because she won't give it up. She won't bust that pussy open, and I tell her bring it back. Bust that, bust that pussy open, and I tell her bring it back. Bust that, bust that. That could be a cute song, though, to me. Bust that, bust that pussy open, and I tell her bring it back. Bust that, bust that. <laughs> All right, we're going to end this right here, okay? All right, until next time.